and learns to speak the tales of hunting will be weak my poetry hails within the streets my poetry fails to be discreet it travels across the earth and seas from somalia to the west indies it knows no boundaries no cheese it's studied in parts of greece hope is a belief that tomorrow will be better it is a shining light hope is what sustain us today it is what sustains the pressure and the challenge of today that there is hope for better tomorrow. I read once in the Bible, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What really captured my imagination was the word hope. We all hope for something, good or better. We learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow, and the important thing is not to stop questioning. What is hope to you? Hope is what makes you move on from tomorrow. That's what makes you wake up the next day so that you can go and search your dreams. Hope is what what makes you what makes you, you. Because without hope, you wouldn't believe yourself. Without hope, you wouldn't wake up next the next day doing something else. Hope is what makes you move on. Hope is what makes you move forward. Basically when your heart desires something. Um, because your heart knows that it'll be good for you. Um, but all the power plays upon the, the truth of the nature and it's basically determined on what the nature will give you and if it's meant to be then um, it'll happen. I wish that you could show some love Instead of Harry and the Pope, I'll bring other people coming up I wish I could teach the world to sing Write some music and have them tripping off the joy I bring I wish that we can hold hands, listen instead of dissing lessons from a grown man. And I wish the families that lack, but got love, get some stacks, brand new shot in the lack, that's some dubs. And I wish we could keep achieving wonders, see the vision of the world through the eyes of Stevie Wonder. You feel me? And I hope all the kids eat, and don't nobody in my family see six feet. You dig? I hope the mothers... Not necessarily when you really want something, but when your heart wants something because of you because you know that it's good for you and that it'll benefit you. You put your hope in politicians. You put your hope in government. You put your hope in technology. You're only going to be disappointed. You put your hope in money or into your investments or anything else. I believe there's uh, two kinds of hope. First hope is the natural hope. And the other one is uh, hope in God. And, um, the natural hope uh, uh, may not have a uh, strong foundation because there's no guarantee in it. You might get it or you might lose it. But hope in God is everlasting, is guaranteed. Hope to me is just like, kind of like um, a light under the tunnel where like you can't help but like a situation you can't get out of reach of. So the only thing you can do is for hoping, is hoping, right? Hope a lot of for a lot of things. Uh, uh, hope, hope is uh, a desire to to, uh, to see uh, the, the the result of your your work. Uh, if you put in some work, and at the end of the day, you're gonna expect for someone to, to to reward you for for the work that you put in. Belief, high belief of God, and high belief of spiritual powers. But religion and God is Christianity is number one because we grew up with things happen that are miraculous. Like we were under oppression, with war with the British, but people had hope and believed in God that we were freed and became an independent country because people believed in something and that was our hope because we grew up in a religion culture knowing that things will get better as they go. And that's how everybody sees it in my country with a strong belief in God and Christianity. Uh, to me, hope is having a belief in something even when all the odds against that happening are next to none. And so it's a little bit different from optimism where there's a good chance something will happen. And I think that's what really differentiates the two. Uh, and having hope is sort of something that is that 1% where there's a small chance that it can happen and you have to have that belief. That, I mean, people will often have hope that things are going to get better, um, but it takes another step to say, I have faith that things will get better. And you have to have faith in people uh, for things to get better. And so I think uh, when you have faith in humanity, for example, you're sure that there is goodness in people to make things work out for the better. Hope to me is uh, a longing for something with like hope, a longing for something and knowing that you're going to get it as well. 
I've hoped. Uh, anything, what comes to mind is the first time I hoped was, I really hoped I was going to get this Power Ranger, you know, the one that puts it all together at Christmas. And I was hoping for Christmas I was going to get it. And then I got the Green Ranger. It was awesome, but I never got the Power Ranger I wanted. I don't believe in faith in myself, but like, of course, faith in other people, my friends, my family. Um, I have faith in everyone, like, no matter who you are, where you come from, what you've been through, like, I have faith in everyone and what their potential will be. Do I believe in faith? Uh, the answer, is the shortest answer would be no. Uh, but I, I would say this, uh, faith is something that you grow into, something that you acquire as you, as you live in this, in this life, you know? I would say that I wasn't able to acquire that, so I would say that would be no. Within a few years, it may just sort of, like its efforts may just be destroyed again, and there's always like cycles of poverty going on around the world, but it takes an extra step to sort of look and go, okay, there, you know, I need to have faith that there are enough good people in the world to make things work out and to, you know, continue that process so that you can fix all of those problems. Life is a journey. Um, and during this journey, we're given a specific amount of time where each of us are allowed to explore ourselves um, and explore the world and basically try to fulfill our purpose. Always keep your eyes open um, and don't just go with the flow. Don't just go where the, the wind is blowing you, but sail, like sail with the wind. Pretend you are a boat and you're controlling where you want to go with wherever the wind is taking you. There's a spoken word artist, her name is Britta B, and she said that life's your own obstacle course and you're your own problem, right? So I think that like you make your own problems and the only person that's stopping yourself is you, right? So I think life is just about finding yourself and finding who you are, you know, what your values are, and what you want to do. I believe life is something that is beautiful. Life is a gift that we all have. It's free. We don't have to pay for life. We are coming to this world with no nothing, and life is the only free thing that we have in the world that we can look up to because we are all alike. And if you're watching this, then we are life. Hope, life, and faith. Hope, life, faith. I hope that I'll be in the kingdom of God. I have faith because I believe in Jesus Christ. I have life because Christ died for my sins. Five and a low. I got a record and I'm not afraid of cops at all. I'm like a Ja Rule poster. Cause I'm off the wall. Yo, basically the revolution is here. Can't nine the dusty foot, there's no solution to fit. Yo, I'm taking it back like clothes that don't fit. That you purchased in a heavyweight home and old. Shit. I'm so sick, my rhyme book throws a fit. I need a vaccination just so I can spit my own. Shit. Pardon me while I release these rhymes out of me. I'm so ridiculous, I got a compulsive disorder. I'm sort of like a reporter strapped to the little recorder. The border having an order not to let me in and Order for me not to cause a slaughter Lyrically I flow with water I order Take it easy on these suckers And fast forward niggas And it's easy at the cover But seriously I remember I was seven When rap came mysteriously It made me feel eleven It understood me I made my ghetto heaven I understood it as the new poor people's weapon But now it's half ass Like a chick with one butt cheek